Standard beer for Pontiac's brand image of excitement and performance, a strong symbol of Pontiac's value, and in many ways it's becoming a symbol of the resurgence of both GM and the entire American automotive industry. But I've talked enough about it. Let's create the future right now. Next March, you're going to have this fantastic new Firebird convertible. Let's look at that. Well, there's a couple of uh, little additional Firebird excitement for you that's coming. This 25th anniversary Trans Am, uh, we felt was really appropriate to, to commemorate uh, 25 years of Trans Ams. In 1969, for those of you that, like me, go back, you'll remember uh, the white car with the blue patches, and that's exactly what we brought back here. If it doesn't have the, the hatch roofs as this does, it'll have a, a blue patch on the top. Uh, special wheels uh, that you're looking at on this vehicle, 25th anniversary uh, uh, white uh, uh, five spokers. And uh, inside on this Trans Am, we've got a white leather trim. It's got 25th anniversary Trans Am embroidered on the seats and, and it will have on the doors. Uh, but we put this vehicle together to, to make it very saleable for you. It will be priced in total at under $1,000 MSRP with the leather trim, the, all, all the stripes and, and, and wheels. Uh, we're looking uh, appropriately, I guess, uh, with the 25th anniversary at about 2,500 in total, and that will include a convertible version of the 25th anniversary, but uh, not very many. Uh, as you know, we built very, very few of the 69 uh, Trans Am convertibles, and there won't be too many, I'm sure, of because of the late startup of the convertible of, of this one. But uh, we think it's going to be a lot of excitement. Uh, the vehicle will uh, uh, really get introduced in the uh, winter auto shows, but it will pace. Uh, the Daytona 500 in February, and we'll get uh, quite a bit of push out of the 25th anniversary at that Daytona race, I'm sure. Uh, over on the convertible, uh, as I say, a March uh, start of production here. We uh, uh, will have all the bugs out of the production system from Chevrolet since they're uh, starting up the convertible right now. It is built right in the plant. Uh, this is not a conversion. It goes right down the assembly line. Got some extra uh, strong uh, uh, braces that are put in right at, in the body shop as they begin this. This vehicle, you absolutely can drive 70 miles an hour down the road and whisper to one another and, and hear one another. It's, it's uh, solid. It's quiet. Uh, it's got a power-operated top, one-button kind of approach. You're down and gone. Uh, it's got a neat liner in the top like the Mercedes convertible if you've driven one of those. We've got the hard, rigid boot back here so you can put the, the cheerleader or the football player on it for the parades or whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll have three color tops, uh, white, beige, and black, so you can, can, can match up all the uh, uh, exterior color. It has the glass backlight in it. You can get the convertible in the base, the formula, or the Trans Am, so we'll be able to match up whatever uh, your customers want. Uh, it'll, all three will come with the, if you will, the base or formula spoiler. Uh, we couldn't uh, match up that wild Trans Am uh, 
uh, GT spoiler uh, with convertible, but all the rest of it would be would be Trans Am approach. So, 10% uh, of our uh, Firebird production, essentially, and I think we can tweak that up to 12 to 15 as we get going, can be convertible. So we got good capacity as we get on an annual basis with this convertible. It's been priced at Chevrolet, so you know there's there's no mystery there. As as, as those come out, it's roughly around $5,000 for the uh, total feature. Uh, uh, which includes some additional standard equipment, but uh, we think it'll stack up very well from what we know uh, Mustang is coming with and, and the rest of the competitive convertibles out there. So that's a couple of uh, additional Firebird excitement for you. What do you think? <laughs>